Hey, I just thought I'd um, show you a bit of a project that I'm working on at the moment. So basically what it is, is that um, uh, the Alfa Romeo's got a, Julia's got a digital dash um, on it, which sort of tells you things like boost, um, and a few other bits and pieces as well. Uh, and I was hoping to sort of have a screen that sort of complements that, uh, that sits sort of within the dash. But once again, I didn't want it to look as if it was a, a third party piece. I wanted to really sort of integrate um, within the car itself. Um, so here's a bit of a proof of concept uh, of what I'm working on at the moment uh, from a digital dash perspective. Uh, and I should also say that a lot of the uh, a lot of the credit for the code actually has to go elsewhere and I'll put the link in the description to the um, GitHub page uh, where a lot of the work's being done for this. Um, so I've spent a bit of time just kind of tweaking this um, this uh, this project a little bit just to work with the um, Alfa Romeo Giulia. Um, so essentially I've got a 2021 um, Giulia uh, Veloci. Um, basically what I've connected up is this screen here um, and the idea would be that this screen would sort of sit in here eventually. Um, I'll have to sort of 3D print a, a housing for it. But what it is at the moment, it's essentially just a, um, uh, a widescreen touchscreen uh, connected to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, the only connection to the car at the moment, hard connection, would be the um, power, which is essentially running off a, the cigarette lighter that's just sitting behind there at the moment. So it's connected to um, a Bluetooth um, OBD uh, dongle, and that's where it's getting all the data from. Uh, at the moment. So the, all the touchscreen, everything works uh, as, as, it, as it stands. Um, as you can see, some of the data coming through um, at the moment feeding it. Um, not everything's working. For example, the coolant intake's not working um, at the moment. But essentially, there's uh, a few different screens to, to sort of go through. And I'm going to tweak these to actually something to the to something that I think better suits um, the car. Um, one of the ones which I'm uh, sort of need to be doing a bit of work on as well will be this one here. I quite like this one. Um, tells you RPM along with speed and the gear that you're in. Uh, one thing with the Julia is that when you are ride, driving in automatic mode, uh, it, it doesn't tell you what gear you're in unless you actually flick the arm paddles. But this is uh, will give us a nice opportunity to actually show you what gear you're actually in. Um, it's working at the moment, kind of. It's not exactly lined to all the gears, so I'll need to do a bit of work just to tweak um, tweak that bit of code uh, to get it up and running. Um, but yeah, it looks hopefully um, stay tuned I said I'm looking to, to sort of get this project up and running um, and, and finalize and the whole idea of it is I want it to be sort of integrated into the car I don't want it to sand out um, I want it to look nice and neat in there uh, as well so so yeah that's kind of where I'm at the moment um, stay tuned I said I'll, I'll provide some updates um, as the project uh, uh, goes along thank you very much for watching